Hi everyone, in this video let's discuss test planning. Yeah, so according to software testing life cycle, one of the first phase is a test planning. And uh, what is it, uh, what uh, here we should do, we'll discuss uh, during this video. Yeah, if you are starting any activities, any kind of work, you definitely need a plan to be sure that this project will be successful, will be efficient and so on. And testing is not like exception. Yeah, so, revel in uh, even in your real life, starting any activity is better to start with a plan. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Maybe as juniors, you will not take such an active part. You will not be responsible for test plan creation. Still, you definitely should know about this phase and be ready to provide the information required from your side. And uh, also this type of questions regarding test planning and, and test plan can be asked during the interviews. So let's start. And the first, the first question, what is it? And uh, during the testing uh, planning phase, we need to review all the information we have on our project. It can be requirements or, or other documentation. And our goal is to create a special type of document. It is a test plan. And uh, here uh, we collect all the information regarding our testing process and we answer the main questions. What we need to test, what, who will do this, uh, where we should perform testing on which environments and so on, when, so the schedule also should be provided. And the most important question is how we will perform our testing. And uh, this is the main question and uh, on it uh, answer the following uh, it can be even a special, a separate document uh, testing strategy, or it can be a part of test plan. So test strategy answers the question how we will do our testing, and it includes uh, all testing methods, approaches, types, and level you should use to verify your product, your application. Yeah, also while creating test plan, uh, testers are trying to predict some risks and even uh, like uh, suggest ideas how to solve these risks if they will appear. They identify metrics that can be used to measure the process. Is it good or bad? Also, you can find information about key resources, their responsibilities on the projects, and so on. So, actually, it's a very useful document. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the next question, when we should create it? A uh, test plan is usually created, as it was mentioned before, like at the very first steps of your project. This is maybe for test team, this is the first document that can be created. Yeah. Uh, still, that doesn't mean that it cannot be changed. You know, uh, most of the project now using agile approach, agile processes. So uh, there can be some new features added, maybe some of your resources will be changed, maybe you've decided to promote your project in some another location and you need to use uh, like one more environment and so on. So test, play, test plan is created once before the testing actual process, but can be updated during and, the process <laughs> yeah and should be updated yeah when you have any changes on your project so uh, let's talk about why actually we we need this uh, document and uh, we believe you already understand that uh, it needs uh, you uh, to find the most in, uh, important information especially when you come uh, to a new project uh, 
uh, which uh, has already existed for several uh, months or even years. All uh, important information can be found in a test plan. Yeah, so it actually helps you to get better understanding in your team, get better understanding of, of the product of the processes understand what and when to do yeah and see the progress so you can compare some uh, result that you were expected during test plan creation and the actual state of the testing process so that's like a very uh, powerful tool to make your process better and to follow your process properly like the whole team like one body yeah you've got the plan for each member yeah absolutely and here the crucial thing that uh, this uh, document should be approved by your project manager or even a customer that uh, you have a plan not like your ideas but approved uh, set of steps you should do and your customer or your project manager agree with this so uh, this is really important document on each project yeah, so when joining some project, do not forget to ask a test plan, not only smoke test cases, to get acquainted with the processes better. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, when, if you are uh, really experienced and you don't have your test plan, so uh, you should create it by yourself. Good luck with this. Yeah, we hope this video was useful for you. Bye. Stay with us. Bye.